chill lang with your friends, hang out, mag-eat ka ng araw sa exam, tapos pagtingin mo sa score mo, life starts after quiz 1. Mahirap lang yung unang hakbang, pero after nun, mas mahirap pa. <laughs> 10 plus 8 is 18. Oh! Hey there! <laughs> Corny. What is up guys and welcome back to this channel for fitness, life, and some good vibes. And again, this is Bricks from Bricks No Channel. For today's video, I will share to you and teach you on how I became a Dean's Lister of the University of Santo Tomas. <laughs> So again guys, if hindi ka pa subscribe click that subscribe button right now for more fitness life and good vibes videos. And if you have subscribed before pa, gusto ko magpasalamat sa'yo for staying with me and staying with this channel. Okay. So before I begin, let me start. Huh? So before ako magsimula, let me begin. Bruh. So before I begin, let me just thank you and also congratulate you as well. So thank you because if you are watching this video and hindi ka naman mag Dean's Lister or tapos ka na mag college and gusto mo lang mag support sa channel na to, gusto ko magpasalamat na sobra sa iyo for watching this video. And please watch till the end para malaman niyo yung pinaka tip ko sa pagiging Dean's Lister. And also congratulations sa iyo kung nanonood ka and you want to be a Dean's Lister because you're doing something for your goal and that's the most important thing of all, di ba? Gagawa ka ng something sa goal mo. Congratulations na ngayon pa lang and let's get to it. Before I begin the tips, disclaimer lang, hindi ko nasasabihin yung sipagan mo. Medyo, yung pagiging masipag is very vague na and dapat innate na sa inyo yun. Pero ngayon pa lang sabihin na kita. Sipagan mo. And secondly, disclaimer lang, hindi ko na-explain sa inyo paano mag-schedule kasi meron akong isang video nun. Big brain move. With that, everything out of the way. Let's get to the video. So tip number one is practice under pressure. Okay, lumalapit eh. <laughs> practice under pressure. So what do I mean by practice under pressure? Narasa mo na ba yung aral ka ng aral sa exam tapos pagtingin mo sa score mo, bagsak. Kasi ako naranasan niya. <laughs> Lesson learned dun is you try to practice under pressure. Kasi narealize ko na nag-practice ako, nag-aaral ako, chill lang ako, relax lang ako. Like, uh, ilang hours ako nag-aaral, tapos kumakain pa ako or nag-music ako. And it didn't work for me kasi first of all, hindi naman ganoon yung environment habang nag-e-exam. What I did is nag-practice ako ng tahimik and time pressured. So under pressure siya. Ang ginawa ko nun is 3 problems ata 20 minutes like that. Kahit anong mangyari, tatapusin ko yung problem or yung practice problems na yun in just 20 minutes. Ang mayari doon, mapapractice yung mind mo sa pag-iisip under pressure. Kunwari nga nung game 5 na si Danny Green, yung Miami Heat versus Lakers ng 2020 Finals. Nung marim si Lebron, binigay niya kay Danny Green, wide open, walang ibang tumitingin sa kanya, walang tumitingin sa kanya. Tinira niya yung dress. Boom! Hindi shumut. So, bakit nangyayari yun? The same reason kung ba't di tayo nakakasagot sa exams kahit aral tayo ng aral. So, si Danny Green for sure naman. NBA player siya. So, nag-practice siya every day, every night, every morning ng shooting niya. Pero, baka sa talaga yung situation sa game and sa practice mismo. Pero, wide open kay So, bakit hindi mo na-shoot Danny Green? So, isa pang nakaka-apekto dun is environment mo habang nag exam So, another tip for you guys is, kunwari, yung pag e mo, alam mo na na medyo malamig yung room. Try nyo naman na mag-aircon din habang nag exam if you have the luxury to. Dadagdag ko lang sa pag-practice under pressure is, guys, you have to practice a lot talaga. So, kahit si Lebron James, magaling na basketball player na siya, nag-practice pa rin siya ng nag-practice. Okay? So, it's important to practice talaga, lalo na pag-solve ng problems kasi madami sa engineering lessons ng civil or kahit ibang engineering is you have to be familiar sa nangyayari, situations, sa methods, and everything else. So, one way to familiarize yourself sa mga methods na mabilisan is to practice lagi. Practice a lot and under pressure. So, tip number two is you do what you can today. <laughs> Yun. So, marami kasi sa college is maraming projects na binibigay and you have to try to do it as early as you can. If you can do what you can do today, gawin mo na, okay? Kung nare, pagigyan ka, sa school naman namin sa USD, hindi naman kami binibigyan ng projects na for tomorrow o gagawin pa saan. Or normally, ang projects talaga, yung mga mahirap na projects, binibigyan nila two weeks before 
or three weeks before or minsan months before nung deadline. If you procrastinate, mag-chill ka muna sa simula and gagawin mo sa dulo. Mahihirapan ka mag-aral sa dulo. Ang tip ko sa inyo guys, kung kaya mo na gawin, individually kung kaya mo gawin right now, Gawin mo na ngayon. Alam ko kaya mo naman gawin yan guys. Kasi ako alam kong kaya ako ginagawa yun. Pero hindi ko ginagawa before. So natutunan ko lang yun the hard way dahil wala na akong choice. Okay? So quite relative to it kasi what if group work naman siya. So my tip there is to try to cluster your work. For example, kailangan talaga sabay-sabay kayo mag-work. Try to convince your group mates na every week or twice a week gagawa man lang kayo ng kahit small portion lang ng project nyo. Merong method na tinatawag sila dito eh. Instead of looking at the big picture, try looking at the small picture. Tapos, unti-untiin nyo kasi ang importante lang is you start now. Sabi nga nila, mahirap lang yung unang hakbang. Pero after nun, mas mahirap pa. <laughs> And tip number three is to start strong. Life starts after this one. Life starts after this one. Life starts after this one. Mga ganun ba? The main point of that is bawi. O kailangan bawiin mo yung mga napagmagsak kasi before, di ba? Pero guys, if you want to be a Dean's Lister, you have to start strong. Naiintindihan ko naman kung bakit mababa ang grades sa mga first quizzes. And ito, na-observe ko ito habang nag-aaral ako eh. First quizzes kasi, so normally yun, first parts ng SEM, di ba? Masaya kasi yung mag-chill lang with your friends, hang out, mag-eat. Madali pa yung mga topics. Ang kayang-kaya nyo intindihin. Yun yung unang step na babagsak ka sa quiz 1 is sasabihin mo sa sarili mo, madali pa yung topic sa una. Araling ko lang to, kaya to. So, ano nangyayari? hindi ka nag-practice. So, babalik tayo sa step number one is to practice, practice, practice. Kahit sa first exam pa lang. So, siguro isa sa mga tanong na bumabagabag sa isip nyo ay Bakit ang daming energy ni Briggs mag-aral? Isa lang ang sagot ko dyan. Kape. So, this one is the Satori Coffee. Guys, support this local brand. Um, they have the Kalinga, Benguet, and Sagada. Ayos ba sa ads? <laughs> Promo code Satori Bricks para makakuha kayo ng discounts sa shipping. So guys, order na kayo. This is one of my secrets para marami kang energy sa pag-aaral and ma-enlighten ka. Satori Coffee, let's go! Magiging pros ng Start Strong. Unang pro is Pondo. Yun nga yung tinatawag nila eh. Pumupondo ka. So, you break down kayon in just five days. For example, you are given five days to earn five thousand pesos. Okay, so sa simula pa lang ginawa mo na todo todo ka. You work super hard for Monday and then kumita ka ng two thousand pesos. So what that leaves you with three thousand pesos. <laughs> that leaves you with three thousand pesos to earn in four days. So less than one thousand na ilang mo kita n in just 4 days. Okay. Since nag-grind ka na nung una pa lang, yung second days and third days and fourth days, hindi na masyadong hirap sa'yo. Unlike if you start lazy sa Monday, and you say 500 lang kinita mo, so may 4 or 5 ka pa na kailangan kitain in just 4 days. So, ang mangyayari dyan, sa dulo, mag-procrastinate ka. Which leads me to pros number 2 ng Start Strong, which is anti-panic. If you start strong, unlikely ka na mag-panic dahil mataas na yung scores mo nung una. So in that way, babalik tayo sa tip number 2, which is do what you can today. Kapag hindi mo nagawa yung tip number 2, magagawa mo siya kapag start strong ka. Ah, oh, mare, hindi mo na simulan yung projects mo. Kapag nag-start strong ka mataas yung grades mo, mababawasan na yung load mo. Instead of nagpa-panic ka sa dulo kasi nahabol mo yung grade mo. I know it's kind of difficult to start strong, pero guys, life starts at the first day of the sem. And that. Tip number 4 is from my good friend Cherise. Shout out sa iyo. Ito guilty ako dito na natamaan ako dito which is do not underestimate minor subjects. Ang minor subjects kung ano yung mga hindi naman connected directly sa inyong course. Personal experience ko talaga na wala ako sa dean's list no I was like sec second year out tayo. And the reason is mababa ako sa subject na ayoko nang sabihin kasi Nainis lang ako. <laughs> It's okay for me pero nakakainis lang na to think na nawala ka sa Dean's List dahil sa minor subjects. Try to find time pa din with your minor subjects. If you want to be a Dean's Lister, you have to be a Dean's Lister sa average mo. Hindi naman sa subject lang eh. So, my mistake before na pinili ko yung mga subjects na gagalingan ko lang and then in the end, backfire din sa akin. Fifth and last tip is 
Again, from my good friend Cha, wag mahihiyang magtanong. Kung may like. Wag kayo mahihiyang magtanong guys. Asking questions humbles you. It shows that you acknowledge that you don't know everything. If you ask questions, you can master the topic. That makes sense. Kasi, think about this guys. Situations that humble you, you will never forget them. Diba? So, wag kayo mahihiyang magtanong sa profs mo, sa mga klase mo, lalo na sa mga friends mo, yung ibang friends mo, kahit hindi sila nag-run for Dean's Lister, meron ka mga friends na master yung isang subject kahit chill lang sila sa iba, pero favorite subject nila, dun ka magtanong okay? meron akong isa pang additional tip na hindi ko na gagawin tip number 6 kasi medyo opposite lang siya ng tip number 5 is teach, teach teach, the best way to learn is to teach talaga kapag nababoil down mo siya na matuturo mo siya sa kahit sinong tao, that is the indication na nagagets mo yung topic Kahit kami noon nung college yung may nag-aaral kami, ang ginagawa namin after namin mag-get sa isang topic, magluturoan kami isa't isa. Kasi tinatin kung pag may nagtanong sa'yo and nasagot mo, ibig sabihin, gets mo na, okay? Before I end this video, I would like to share to you na after all those tips, guys, you also have to pray. If you don't have a religion or you don't pray, just meditate and be grateful for what you have or what you have accomplished. Pray, meditate, relax, be grateful with everything, stay down to earth. So again guys, I hope makatulong itong simple video na to. And if nakatulong man to sa inyo, go ahead and malaking tulong mo sa akin if mag-subscribe ka sa channel na to. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you and congratulations if you became a Dean's Lister dahil dito. And sobrang humbling naman nun kapag nakatulungan kita maging Dean's Lister. And that's it. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace!